I suppose, you know, once you've got all this set up and saved, it becomes easier the next time and the yeah. next time after that. So what I've just shown you there is the only, you'd only have to go through that process once for each implement. Then after that, you're yeah. away. Gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another episode of Land Power TV. This time you find us at an event hosted by Valtra, which they are showing off uh, many of their new machines and uh, technology that they've recently launched over the past 12 months or so. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to split it into probably two, maybe three episodes, who knows, because there's so much to look at. So in this episode then, we're going to have a look at some of the tractor technology, in particular the automatic headland turning sort of system, U-Pilot yep. is it you guys yep. call so it. Yeah, auto U-Pilot. Auto U-Pilot. So that's what we're going to focus on in this episode, in this episode, and then hopefully in another little episode we'll have a look at the new Boss, the new uh, the new uh, S6, the big beast from Valtteri, which we saw launched at Agritechnica and Lama. So for now we'll kick off with this. So we've got Seth Bradford. You've seen him before in a couple of other Valtra videos. Uh, so Seth is going to talk through us, like I said, all this onboard tractor technology. So, yeah, what technology are we actually looking at today? So we'll focus today on uh, two of our software packages that you can either have on a new build tractor or have them retrofitted to your existing Valtra 4th right. or 5th gen tractor. So we've got Smart Turn, which effectively turns the tractor on the headland for you, whether that's in a, a loop or skip loop which right. we call part field mode, or also do Y and K turn. So if you imagine you're, you've got a linkage implement such as a harrow like this, where you want to pull out onto the headland, back up and come back on yourself, a plough for example. It'll do that as well. It'll do that, so you can sit there and it'll just basically right. turn on the headland for you. So we've got that as one package, and then we also have another package which is Auto U Pilot. So ordinarily we can program our M1, M2 and M3 buttons to uh, do a, a headland management sequence effectively. But what this does is it takes that headland marker, so say today we're going to have a 24 metre headland. Yeah. As we cross into that headland, the tractor knows where it is, it then lifts the implement. You can then either manually turn if you don't have smart turn, or if you do have smart turn and auto you pilot, you sit there with your arms crossed reading the paper while the tractor does everything for you. Right. That's we are literally this far away from full autonomous tractor base. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Wow. The beauty of the two packages is you don't have to have both and you don't have to have one or the other. You can tailor it to exactly have what you're you going to get. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So. That's it. Brilliant. Cool. Set us off then, Seth. Cool. Let's have a look. So, so what, what's actually involved to sort of kick off? So all you need is, is guidance on your tractor effectively to know where the tractor is in relation to your, to your field yeah. or to your headland. So what we need to do to start with is record a field boundary because I'm showing you this as if you're fresh to it. And yeah, well, how? Well, yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> so we'll mark out a boundary now quickly, yeah. just to give you a bit of an example, and then we'll go from there. So if I back into the corner. Right. So for this, would you have to set up like a new job or something it's, like that in there? All, all you need to do is have the width of the implement in. Yeah. So I'll show you through that before you get carried away. So we've got a 12 meter grass harrow on here. So I can set that up through my technology screen here on the spanner. So this is another secondary optional screen. Yeah, so you don't have to have this second screen, but say we had an isobus implement, we could have our isobus shown on this screen yeah. and all of our tractor functions and then just concentrate on this for guidance or we'd have it the other way around. However, however you want it, you can tailor it. Yeah. But for this example, I like it so I can see my tractor functions up on here and on the A pillar and then have my guidance here. Right. Split yeah. it up a little bit. Exactly, yeah. And see everything all at once. Exactly. Yeah. So to set the implement up, all you do is tap on the, so that's your main guidance page. You tap on the screen, tap on the spanner, and then you've got an implement width here. So we're telling it it's a linkage implement, which is correct, 12 meters. And then you simply move through the tab. So right. next tab over, a working distance of a meter behind the, the hitch point, which is the linkage. We don't need any overlap and uh, we don't need to offset it left or right. No, because she's central. Exactly. Next tab over, 
So because we have smart turn, we need to tell the tractor exactly how tight we can turn. So if you imagine this was a drawbar implement, you, yeah, if, if you talk, you don't want the drawbar catching exactly. So if you the turning circle of your tractor is too tight for your implement, mm. you don't want it to to clobber the tyres no. off the drawbar. So to record that, all you simply do, start moving forward, turn as hard left as you can, press record. Right, so you don't really have to do any guessing or anything, just actually try it out yourself. Exactly, exactly. Right. So hard, hard right, record, so there we go. So now it knows exactly the size of the, the minimum turning radius that it can achieve when we come to and the head. And it won't go any tighter than that. And the beauty of that is it saves into our implement profile. So we've got a spring harrow set up here. If I had all my other implements on here, they would then yeah. all automatically be loaded up every time. So I wouldn't have to do so this. So you've set up an implement profile already, the spring yeah. harrow. Yeah. And because we're in that, every yeah. time we make some changes, it's automatically recorded in that spring exactly. harrow. Exactly. So, so when I go to that next time and recall it, all those settings are saved. And what you can do is you can put a USB stick in the side here, extract that, and put it in any other tractor. Go over to a N series, Q series, whatever. Yeah, and all the fields, the profiles, uh, the implements go with it. Yeah. So yeah. Sweet. Makes life easier. Can you do that over the cloud and that mm, magical stuff? Or? No, it is USB transfer at the minute. Right. Um, uh, but USBs are cheap and it's a reliable technology, so yeah. it works well. And you don't need any signal to do it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Especially like today, we're in the middle of nowhere. Y yeah. X, REF, where is it? Where are uh, we today? Falkingham, yeah. Falkingham, yeah. yeah. Lincolnshire, we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Deepest so depths of Lincolnshire. Some today. sketchy phone signal up there, anyway. <laughs> Sketchy people, aren't <laughs> I right. live locally, James. So. <laughs> exactly. Right, come on, let's have a do. So, <clears throat> there we are, implement set up. So, then we will go into our guidance. We'll just record a boundary. So, three tabs here, middle tab with the field, you know, this blue button here. It's asking us to record off the receiver or the implement itself. We'll go with the implement. We're going to go anti clockwise, so we'll go right hand side so recording. Right hand side is the boundary. Yeah. So, Press record here, and then if I drop my implement down, I'm going to put worked area painting on, set it going. So you see the little faint red line now it, being yeah. recorded. So now we're recording our boundary for the first time, and obviously you would only have to do this once, because once it's in there, it's saved. Um, what we can do now is put our AB line, so when we come back to work the rest of the field, we can go in, so we can drop an A, B line here, drop an A point. So even while you're doing this, you can be sorting out your A, B lines. Exactly, so you see the faint white line there being yeah. recorded. So we can go as far as we like. Well, what tracks are we on today? What model is this one? So this one's a T175 uh, Eco Versu, this one is. So this right. is uh, fully blinged up with the 10, li 10 year unlimited say. pack. So stainless steel uh, guards on the air intake and exhaust. So if I just finish that way line there, so now I've got my A line in, A B line in. Now if I lift the implement, what I can do is I can pause that and we're gonna go across. 